all beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to be We are going to be swatching the entire Reds and Berries range by Juvia's Place. I am excited and grateful does not sum up how I feel right now. I am so <laughs> thrilled to be filming this video because I wasn't really expecting this to happen. I hadn't planned to this for this video to go live so this is gonna have to be like a an extra video. There's been a lot of extra videos lately but we are in the middle of Vlogmas. I do like to upload a lot of videos normally as well. So I have been uploading at least one video a day since like, I don't know, Thanksgiving week, which is not something we celebrate, but for, for comparisons. But if you love color, if you love indie makeup, if you love a lot of uploads, not only during December, this is the place to be. Please don't forget to subscribe and let's dig into these because I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I did film this look by the way, this um, purpley look, it's gonna be live next week, I'm filming a Get Ready With Me. Um, I don't, I'm not on the Juvia's Place PR list, uh, or at least I haven't been before, uh, maybe I'm lucky and I am now. I have though been using and showcasing and trying to do videos with Juvia's Place palettes for years and years and years since the pre-sale of Masquerade. I do chat with the owner of Juvia's Place, Chi Chi, sometimes over at Instagram. She has been nothing but sweet to me. And she did send me the PR package with the, like, the nude lipsticks. That video, I will leave it up here in the corner in case you want to see that lip swatch, because I did lip swatch all of that. And now I'm very lucky that she actually did send me this as well. So I do have a code with Juvia's Place. It is my first name, Angelica, that will give you 10% off at Juvia's Place. But normally I buy my things myself from Juvia's Place, which is not a problem. Like I love the brand and if I if you love a brand and you want to support a brand, it wouldn't feel weird to spend your money there. So I have no problem spending money there. But I couldn't afford to buy the entire package, so I knew I wouldn't be able to lip swatch everything for you. But then I was so lucky and this actually showed up. And also, like, let me show you. Let me show you how this looks. So it opens like this and you have, like, I took the lip liners out now, but literally there are lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks. There are two liquid lipsticks and there are a, a couple of glosses. So we'll just swatch everything. And in this package was also a new release that actually released yesterday. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and get this video up today. So it released, it was released yesterday. Let me show you. So I did not really have time to prepare for this because uh, Juvia's Place did send this with express shipping. So I got notified like yesterday morning that these were arriving today. But also I got the new collaborations that Juvia's Place has done. This is the Disco Collection with Fumi. This is her second uh, collaboration with um, Juvia's Place. Do you want me to do something with this collection as well? I haven't even opened this and this is with Melissa. <sighs> I don't really know who this is. Maybe, maybe I should. Just says Melissa and Juvia's Place. Uh, both of these collections has a quad and a lip gloss. Since I already had makeup on when these were arriving with FedEx, I didn't know that these were going to be included, but I'm very grateful. So if you want to see something with this, maybe I can have something up next week and have to let me know in the comments. But we are going to go through this entire collection. I'm going to zoom us in a bit so that we can lip swatch all of it. The only thing I'm not going to lip swatch is there are two new lip liners in this collection. These have the exact same packaging as the old lip liners. It is a twist up pencil. These are impeccable. These were mentioned in my yearly favorites. This is the same packaging as before. I'm guessing the same formula. I will of course report back to you. It is a bright red and more of a dark berry. I'll put a bit of a swatch up here so you can see. So these are just in addition to the lip liner range. These are 10 dollars each of course you can use a code them but these are ten dollars each and i'm not going to be lip swatching them but just know that they did come out with two uh, lip liners as well maybe i should start let's start with the glosses i think i'm gonna put just a lip liner that's like my skin color so the glosses if if the glosses do like feather out a bit because we have a lot of things to go through okay let me get that and let's zoom in and let's go so excited. Okay, so there are six lip glosses in this Reds and Berries. They do have lip glosses from before as well in the nudes. And like I said, if you want to see swatches, that is up here in the eye. There are a couple that seems more creamy. I think these are different ones. And some that seem more clear. So maybe I'll start with the ones that seem a little bit more clear. 
Yeah, because this one seems clear as well. Okay, well, let's start with the clear one and let's end with the creamy ones. These are the same packaging as the other ones with the pink cap with the gold uh, symbols. Uh, and they are also uh, $14 each, just like they were before. Let's start with this bright red one that is Ruby Rose. It is a see-through glass-like, like orange. You know I'm all about that life. They smell a bit sweet like candy, but more like fruit candy. Ooh, are these different doe foods? They seem to have a little like a divot in them. I like that. That is a stunning lip gloss. It reminds me a lot of the Big Slice lip gloss by uh, Colourpop that I use a lot when I want to have a red glossy lip, but not like a super opaque one. That is stunning. I love that lip color and I love it with purple. This looks absolutely stunning. Love it. The next one is... wait, so I not, don't mess this up. It's this one. It's called Sweet Beats and then Maroon. These also seem to be that like see-through glass. Okay, so this is more like... this is Sweet Beats. It's more like a grape. This is like the perfect glossy lip for this. Maybe I can take the hair away. Maybe we can do it like this so we don't have to bother with this <laughs> hair situation. Perfect glossy lip for this look. It's got a bit of a purple tint, but like not too much. I like the uh, glass formula the most and I'm happy they came with these that don't have like glitter to them. This is really nice too. This is so dark. This is the... Is this still see-through? I think so. This is maroon. I'm not sure that this is the same formula. I might have messed up, messed up a little bit. Maybe this is a cream, because this is... That's pigment. This is crazy pigmented and... Uh, it is a little bit hard to get even. Wear a lip liner with this one, okay? Wear a lip liner with this one. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at this look. It's like a vampy dream, but... You can see it's like a little wonky here. It's a bit hard to uh, apply without a lip liner. I thought this was going to be see-through. I mean, we can all see it's not. <laughs> we can all see that that is not what we got. So yeah, oops, my bad. This is definitely a cream. This was maroon and now I'm doing cheese royal. That is a really pretty it's a purpley berry gloss, but maybe a little bit more wearable than the other one that's like super, super dark. But this is pretty, this is a way more berry than my eye look though, so these doesn't really like go together. I love a red with a purple, but this is like a pinky berry purple and that doesn't really go, but yeah. That's what this one looks like. This is She's Royal. Mmm, that's pretty. It's like a dark red. This is a uh, cultured. Not the best application I've ever done in my life, but this is the kind of red I love with the purple like this. Because I feel like this looks like so vampy and so pretty. I love a red with the purple. I feel very <laughs> like Ursula, but in a good way. Like, who doesn't want to be like a Christmas Ursula? Hmm? But that's what this one looks like. This is cultured. Last one. This is a more ooh, brighter red. I think I'm gonna like this one even more. Oh my god. Swatching pigmented lip glosses has to be the hardest thing you can swatch. This application is not 10 out of 10. This is a 1.5 out of 10. This is Shed of Love. Love the color. Don't love the application. Please try and see beyond that. I feel very pretty in this gloss though, but oh boy. I need to remove this with some micellar water just so I can apply some foundation and start over. <laughs> uh, but then we can do the two liquid lipsticks because there is a scarlet and a red velvet. One seems brighter and one seems darker. And we need to try those. These are so annoying that they're like... Stay put. Okay, I'm applying this first one. This is called Red Velvet. 
that's a very bright, almost pinky leaning red. That's what that one looks like. I hope you can see there's almost like a pinky fuchsia undertone to this one. <laughs> Doesn't need to be on the teeth though. But yeah, this is more of a pinky fuchsia leaning red. It is very bright though, so it's definitely red, but there is some pink in this um, in this like undertone. It does dry down, so I need to take this off. Because this is a liquid lipstick. I cannot be stuck with this one. Ah, I am stuck with this one. Delightful. Oh, my lips are going to be so stained. The horror. This one is scarlet. It seems to be more like a true red, but dark. I love this color. Again, this application. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. But the color is stunning. This is a true red liquid lipstick. It is very beautiful. It went on extremely opaque. I don't see any streakiness. I don't know if there's any streakiness on camera. Sometimes when the background is really dark, it tends to bring out like contrast in my makeup that just isn't there. But I don't see anything when I'm looking at it anyways. It looks stunning, except this application. That's not that stunning, but yeah, this looks great. Okay, let's get those away and let's get into the lipsticks. The lipsticks now, they have different colored caps. Well, not like different, different, but the ones that are more like a bright red, they have this red going to a pink ombre. And then the lipsticks look like they did before. They look like velvety comfort matte. And then the ones that are a bit darker, more berry, they have this like dark plum going to pink well this one wasn't a very berry one but let me show you this one this one is more of a dark berry the ones that were nude they were like a powder pink going to a fuchsia so these are the different ones now so they're like reds nudes and then the ones that are more like a berry plum it's very interesting because you can see the bottoms are all the same they just changed the tops I think that's actually really uh, smart. It's going to be so interesting to see what they do in the future as well. Now I need to go and get rid of this with my cellar water as well because this is probably dry down and I have all of these to swatch. Very excited. So excited. So excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. By the way, li liquid lipsticks, $10 each, these small ones, and the lipsticks are the same price as they were before, $14 each. Okay, now. Okay, let's start with these, with the red cap. These are called the red cherries. Um, let's start with this one. I think this is the lightest one, the one that's called So Red. It's more like an orangey one. I love like a lighter red lipstick. I think that's so pretty. Okay, this is the first one. This is So Red. This is what it looks on me. I think this is a beautiful light red poppy color. So if you like a red, but you don't want it to be like a dark, like blood red definitely this could be something it's more like a corally red i would say it's not really that like warm orange it's more like a cool tone orange not pinky leaning but it's not really yellow leaning it's not yellow leaning at all i like it this isn't my favorite type of red i thought this was going to be more like orange yellow leaning it's nice but it's not my favorite but the formula seems to be the same formula as before, so that's nice. This is fantastic. This is the kind of red I love. I love this together with this makeup look. This is perfect red, and yes, this is a perfect red. Love this. This is that scarlet movie star, makes your teeth look amazing kind of a red. Love this shade of red. Love this pack. Love this. Love this. This is amazing. adore it. Absolutely a million percent adore it. I just filmed the outro for my get ready with me that I was in the middle of filming. So if anything looks different, sorry about that. Oh, I forgot to lift my cactus. Should I go and do that? This is a freak. Beautiful classic red but more a warm tone. The other one was more of a cool tone. This is more of a warm tone. Let me light the cactus. I'm sorry, okay? One sec. Okay, 
There we go. There we go. Is that better? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am stressed in Christmas times. Love a Freak. This is also the kind of red that I love. Like, the difference between Perfect Red and a Freak is definitely the Perfect Red is more like a blue tone red and the Freak is more like a warm tone, like... Not orange, but like a warm tone red. I already said this, Angie. You don't need to over-explain yourself. People have ears. Okay, those were the red cherries. Now we're getting into the red wines. Uh, one of these have a darker cap. I don't exactly know why. I'm guessing this is where they made the split. Like, this is where the dark shades start. I don't know, but let's start with the one that's called Rouge. Ooh. Yes. Like, look at how stained my lips is. Did I call this Rogue? I think it's called Rouge. I've been playing World of Warcraft too much. I'm sorry. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Is that red on my chin? Don't look at that. I'm not a hundred percent sure what is the difference between this one and the perfect red. Let me actually look at the description and we can see. So the perfect red is a blue red, like I said. So red is a rich cherry red, which was the first one, and the blood red, uh, Afrik is Call it blood red. I think that's a warm tone red. Rouge is called a deep wine red. Yeah, I guess it could be. It's also very... It does have a more of a wine tone because it has that blue undertone that most, like, grape <laughs> wine is made out of grapes. So, yeah. They could have a point in that. Uh, this is supposedly darker than the perfect red. I think I prefer the perfect red just for me and then we have rude girl this is described as a dark red this looks fantastic let's get this on i'm starting to see why they put these this is rude girl as the wine category because they definitely do have that like purpley like deep red grape kind of an undertone this rude girl is stunning Love this. It also goes with this eye look so well. I, I know a lot of people are like, when you're doing lip swatch videos, just go in with something light. And here I am with a purple halo eye. Couldn't help myself, but I really like how this one looks on. I look at myself in the viewfinder. This looks amazing. I really, really love this color. This Rude Girl is very pretty. My lips are on fire. But that's okay. I have four left. Four left. And this one is Fierce. Ooh, this looks like this though. Interesting. Okay, so this one seems even darker and deeper. So I think that this like, this like wine <laughs> kind of a category, I think it's more like how deep do you want your wine colored red to be? Because this, the Fierce, definitely seems to be the darkest one. I really like how it looks. I think I liked, personally, the Rude Girl a bit more on me, only because it was, like, not as dark as this one. Can you see how red I am around my mouth? Ooh, my mouth is on fire. But I really like this one as well, but it seems like the wine family, it's more about, like, how deep do you want it to be? And I mean, did we need all three? I don't know. Personally, I prefer the uh, Rude Girl, but I think like if you are of a fair skin tone, maybe uh, ro Rouge. I was gonna say Rogue again. Maybe Rouge is be best for you, and if you are deeper than me, maybe this Fierce would be the best for you. Okay, need to remove this again with micellar water and clean my hands. I cannot explain to you what kind of a mess situation I have in front of me. Whew. The last ones are, those are not the last ones, the last ones are the berries. All three of these, plus my hair, have like the dark caps. I have to like take these off to see in what order we are doing these. Because, oh yeah, this one seems the lightest and I think this one is the darkest. In this order, right? Yeah. So let's start with this one. This one is called Drama Queen. What I try... To not be. This is a really yummy dark berry. There's a drama queen. It is a lot of drama, but it's still not like black. It's not like dark 
dark dark it's definitely dramatic it's definitely berry but I would say it's uh, not that deep we do have two deeper now so this one seems to have a little bit more of a brown undertone or like a brownish tint to it the next one that's called oh damn their name not mine but I like this if you like a berry lipstick I'm sure you would enjoy this one Personally, I never go for shades like this. I prefer a red over something purple leaning than this, but that's just my personal preference. I know that my husband loves purple lipstick, so maybe I should wear it for him, but somehow I never seem to. This is definitely, like I said, more of a brown, not brown lipstick, but it's definitely brown leaning. It is like a dark cocoa with a berry undertone. It is... I don't know if I have something like this in my collection. This is oh damn, and yeah, that is oh damn. This is so dramatic and so dark cocoa yummy. But it is that like purple berry undertone, and I really like the combo. It is like a dark berry chocolate. I want to see how they describe this. Okay, so they described Drama Queen as a rich berry shade. I million percent um, agree. This is a rich burgundy. I don't know, is burgundy more of a brown leaning red? But it's definitely a red undertone and it's definitely rich. It's just not as like purple or red as the others. It's more like a, this is more like a reddish brown than it is a brownish red. This, this doesn't make sense. I'm not making sense. The last one is called Frenemy love the name of that frenemy that's amazing this is a blackened berry <sighs> blackened berry yeah this this looks almost black i'm excited though so let's put this one on as well the description blackened berry is a million percent correct this is almost black this is well when i look in the viewfinder it looks black but there is a berry undertone. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This frenemy is so deep that it is almost black. It is two steps away from the on the color chart menu to being a full on black, but there's a little bit of a purpley berry reddish undertone. It looks amazing. It is extremely dramatic and if you wanted a super dramatic lipstick in this comfort matte formula because this is the exact same comfort matte formula as they had in the other lipsticks I a million percent uh, recommend this I love this shade I think this one I liked listen my favorites are so red the cool toned red Afrik the more warm toned red this frenemy that was this what is this blackened thing and I also really loved uh, the Rude Girl, which was a dark berry on me. So yeah, those are my favorites. Also, I think that my favorite gloss is this one that's called Ruby Rose because it is that like a uh, red see-through glassy gloss that I think is so pretty, especially when you're doing a warm tone dramatic look to have a gloss like this on the lips. It's amazingly beautiful. So I think those are my favorites. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you thought this was helpful. Don't forget to check the description box for more info. And I want to do something with the other two collections that I got as well. Those like mini boxes, these. Like I want to do something with these as well. Maybe I'll at least try one of them tomorrow and you can see how that looks in my new makeup releases on Sunday. Thank you so much for being here. Do not forget to subscribe. I will have a video up tomorrow as well. And I will see you then. Bye!